Hey you guys, welcome back to the Mad Swine Backyard Barbecue. We're in that backyard on the Mad Pin Master Ruben. Today, I got four chickens cut in halves hanging in the Weber Smoky Mountain. And I'll be using the Hunt Sacker Rib Hanger once again to get me all the way to the finish line. You ain't gonna wanna miss this, cause this is better than rotisserie. Oh yeah, that just happened. All right, you guys, you saw how easy that was. Spatchcock the chicken, cut off to one side of the backbone, then commence to cutting it right down the middle of the breast. Then you can remove that backbone after you do that. It's, it's really simple to do. Check for anomalies, check for bone fragment, check for excess, excess skin and fat. Hell, check for feathers and eggs. And then uh, when you're done, it's just about seasoning it, throwing it on the grill, throwing it on the smoker, doing whatever you gotta do to it, and then eating this is gonna go on the Weber Smoky Mountain. We're gonna hang it with the Huntsaker rib hanger and we're gonna get busy. We got, I got four of these to go, actually three more to go, four in total. So we're gonna have eight halves hanging in the Weber Smoky Mountain, yeah. All right, you guys, let's talk about what's going on out here. So I have a Weber chimney halfway filled with Kingsford Original and it's already ready to go. I have the minion method going on over there in the bottom chamber of that 22 Weber Smoky Mountain. That's my modded version. I have two, this is one of two small chunks of hickory because this chicken accepts smoke really, really easy. It's not like pork butt or brisket or anything else, not like ribs. So just a couple of these are gonna do. So that's that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hunsanker rib accessory to hang eight halves on this Weber Smoky Mountain. It's gonna be awesome. All right, this thing's been preheating for about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and get these chickens on here. Keep in mind, I would advise if when you guys have these accessory rings or anything that goes inside here that you can wait till the last minute, wait. So the ring here I'm gonna be using, had I left it in there, it would be hot to handle. It would be when I start hanging stuff on there, I'd have to start watching out if I touch it or not. But you know what, if I just leave it out, wait till I'm gonna hang everything, then it's not a nuisance, it's not a hazard. So that's just a tip for me to you guys. No particular way. I am hanging them through the breast. It just makes a lot more sense. It's not awkward when you're doing it this way. Hangs in there really secure. No issues. All I want is the temperature at the breast to be about 165. Safe enough to eat. That's my goal. I don't want that to go too, uh, too high and then just start ending up with a dry breast. Nobody likes a dry breast. All right, get you guys a little closer. That's how we're looking. Oh yeah. All right, I have Top vent all the way open, bottom vent all the way open. I have no target temp, ambient temp that I'm trying to achieve here. Whatever it ends up at, I want it to do its cooking process, do its cooking thing, 
and get that breast to 165. I'm not gonna touch it for the next hour. Then I'll take a temp reading at the breast and see how we're doing. All right, you guys, it's been an hour. Let's take a look at this chicken. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, not too bad. Wow, 160 at that breast. Let's go back here. 160 at that breast. One fifty-two, one fifty-nine, one fifty-nine. We don't got long to go. This has been uh, one hour only. I just made some little winky dink thing. That's all it takes. Pull these up. All right, so what I'm gonna do, it's only got about five, 10 to five more degrees, depending on where you're checking. Mostly like five. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this lid open. I opened up all the vents on the bottom I want as much airflow as possible. I want this to flare up. I want to get those last five degrees at an intense of a heat as I can. Let's see what this can do. It's going. I don't know if you can hear that, but that thing is roaring. Nice and messy. Right, we got four of these barbecued. There's gonna be some sticky chicken. Now we'll close this guy. Oh yeah.
<laughs> Where's my meat at? Oh my god. That just came off that bone. You know what? I want to be caveman style, but I can't do it. All right, let's see what this is like. Mm. God damn it. Damn, that, that's no words. Mm. Oh my God. Man, when it comes to rotisserie or hanging the birds in a Weber like this or in a smoker like this, nothing beats hanging a bird. Seriously, this stuff is just, look at that. This had just seasoning. This had no sauce or nothing. This was only on for about an hour and what, hour and a half? This is, this has some sauce. This is the stuff to write home about. Look at that little bird. Look at that little bird, huh? Look at the other side. It's got a nice little film to it. It's, it's not soggy. It's not crispy crispy, but it, it, it's, it's a good medium. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Hit that like if you liked it. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you next time. Yeah.